Good morning, Washington Street friends. Today, I'm going to show you some different objects, and I want you to help me by guessing what they all have in common. So they all have something in common. So the first one I'm gonna show you is this. This is a little set of spoons that I use a lot when I bake. And here is something that Mr. Harvey uses all the time. And it can get very, very long. And this is something that I use when I'm sewing. Are you beginning to realize what these all may have in common? This is something I use when I bake cookies. And here's something I use for oil and liquid. And here is something that, I, that Mr. Harvey uses. And I think this may be kind of old, but it's fun because you can fold it and unfold it. And he uses this in the garage a lot. And then here's another thing that I like to use when I'm sewing. So, I'm going to show you one more thing. And this has some water in it, so I have to be really careful. What do these all have in common? I bet you already know, they measure things. Well, last week, Miss Beth told you about the summary that all Christians use about our faith, and it's for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, his one and only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. And today, I'm going to talk to you about that so loved piece. Can we measure how much God so loved the world? Can we measure it on a sewing grid, a measuring? Can we, can we do it with a measuring tape? Can we do it with a measuring cup or measuring spoons? There is no way that we can measure the height, the depth, or the width of God's love. It is so much that the Bible says, like I have in this picture, my cup overflows. My cup overflows with God's love. So let me show you how this works. I'll give you a little visual representation. I have a lot of water and a little bowl. And here, it's going to show how much God's love overflows in our lives. And when we have that much love, it just spills out of us, and it flows to other people. And it just keeps flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing. That's how much God loves us. Let's pray. Dear God, Thank you for loving us so much that you sent your one and only son to die on the cross for us. Help us to remember to be very thankful for that love and to spread that love around so that it overflows over and over and over again. Amen.